This is your weekly reading for the 23rd of May through to the 30th of May. Okay, so let's go with some oracle cards first. Passion. Nice. Hmm. So what is your passion? Creativity is clearly your passion. Nice, Gemini. Nice. Ooh. Death, rebirth, transition. So you might be transitioning away from a, a regular job. I don't know what that is anymore. Into, I've never known what that is actually. Into something creative. I'm gonna pull you two love activation cards. Now this doesn't make it a love reading. I think I will be doing love readings at some point. Spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. Rebirth. Transition. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. Nice. The spontaneity card. I like that. Spontaneity. What a great energy to be in. Harmony. Something that's going to bring harmony and harmonize with you. Harmonize with your spirit. The word that I'm getting. Harmony. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. Harmony. Nice, Gemini. Nice. Okay, let's see what the Tarot wants you to know. Wow, two of cups and the magician on the cup. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's go. Well, you're transitioning away from this energy. Something that has been sucking your energy away in a negative way. Something that you've gotten tired of. Remember that these two people here, these chains around them, they're very loose. It's an illusion. They can walk away at any moment. Could also be talking about walking away from my Capricorn, but I'm not, I'm not getting that. Let's pull more. Page of Swords. Six of Wands. Oh, death again. So definitely a huge transition going on. The rebirth of something inside of you. Possibly something that you were working on in the past, Queen of Pentacles. That's not what the Queen of Pentacles means, I'm just saying. Oh, and the Two of Cups showing up in the reading. Nice. Nice. I mean, you've got Passion. There's one of your Oracle cards there. Passion, Creativity, Death. 
spontaneity and harmony, harmony. You are able to feel a loving connection, a loving balance connection with everything. You are able to feel a loving balance connection with everything. The Hermit. Okay, so. If you've been staying indoors working on something really, really hard, this is the message I'm channeling. It's time to get out into the world. Time to spread those wings. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles. Nice. And it's underneath a sword card. It's underneath a page of swords. Air. You. Eight of Wands. So success coming in fast after this transition. And choices. Success often brings choices. Mm -hmm. Learning. I was I said giving something another go that it's from the past. And considering that's your final card. Not giving up on something. Well, not giving up on yourself, but no one should ever be doing that. Hmm. So you are cutting this devil energy out of your life. Cutting this negativity, possibly routines. I mean, it could be addictions. Anything that you keep doing that's sucking your energy away. And that, how you know that is how you feel about it afterwards, after you've been doing it. Okay, Gemini? Because a victory is coming in, six of wands. That's going to lead to a rebirth. And going to lead to growth in money. The Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles... A union of two people. I th I think the union could be with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. With an Earth sign. Wow, and the message I'm getting, who is also someone who's been spending a lot of time indoors, working on something, like working in the lab. However, that resonates with you. Like people on YouTube, you know, sometimes they lock themselves away working on stuff for ages. Um, that's the type of dedication that it takes. Or on, on anything like that. Might be painting, might be writing. But it's great to see the Ten of Pentacles here underneath you. And I'm not getting that stuck energy, that overwhelmed stuck energy on the Seven of Cups because the Eight of Wands is coming before it. So you are speeding through this to initiation, apprenticeship, mastery of something that you've already tried in the past. Writing is the thing that I'm getting the most. Now, there's, a, there's loads of different types of writing. There's writing books, there's journalism, there's writing scripts, there's writing poems, there's writing... writing. Okay, so I'm going to read you your love activation cards again. Harmony. Harmony. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. Spontaneity. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. And there's ten of pentacles in this new situation, so go for it. 
You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. You move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations. Okay, thanks for being here, Gemini. Take care. Mm, click. Bye. Mm-hmm.